Beloved, as we celebrate now the mystery of the passion of Messiah Jesus, among the hymns we have sung, perhaps none stands out so much as the 15th Antiphon. Today he who hung the earth upon the waters is hung on a tree. The king of angels is decked with a crown of thorns. He who wraps the heavens in clouds is wrapped in the purple of mockery. He who freed Adam in the Jordan is slapped on the face. The bridegroom of the church is affixed to the cross with nails. The son of the virgin is pierced by a spear. We worship your passion, O Christ. We worship your passion, O Christ. We worship your passion, O Christ. Show us also your glorious resurrection. With these words, we express our amazement and not ours only, but even that of the angels, amazement at what takes place and whom it is who gives himself up to death. The very first line is rich with meaning and is food for us. Today, he who hung the earth upon the waters is hung on a tree. Who is it who hung the earth upon the waters, of whom we heard in the first week of Lent, in the first book of the scriptures, Genesis? Sparing the suspense, it is Messiah Jesus. At the Women's Monastery of the Annunciation in Ormelia, Greece, there is a panel among the mosaics showing the earth being hung upon the waters, the sun and the moon being ordered in the heavens to give light by day and by night. The one shown hanging the earth upon the waters is the incarnate Son of God, Jesus Christ, the visible glory of the Father. An angel is shown looking into the face of Christ as he brings all this into being from nothing. Now to today's feast. This same one who created all things from nothing is the very same one who is hung upon the tree. The Son of God, by whom all things were made, has emptied himself of all divine prerogative to the point of willingly allowing himself to be nailed to the cross, the giver of life, put to death by us, the ones he fashioned. So indeed, beloved, we should be amazed. We should tremble together with the angels who shook with fear at seeing such love as is beyond words. Let us return our meager offering of love. Let us fall on our face at the footstool of his feet, the cross, and with sinful lips say to our bridegroom, we worship your passion, O Christ. We worship your passion, O Christ. We worship your passion, O Christ. Show us also your glorious resurrection.